Um, what about, what about uh, oh, what's what about up? young athletes? You want to talk about like uh, just you know like development of younger kids and you know because you're talking about hard work. Like, Fucking uh, like he, he, he no well uh, like he made a, a a great point and and uh, um, one of our programs is called Field Strong and the reason it's called Field Strong was when I went to the the uh, uh, Philadelphia Eagles and I you know I, I grew up in Palos Verdes you know I didn't grow up on a farm I didn't grow up on any of that stuff but I grew up with brothers and we fought and wrestled and I yeah, boxed sure. and as a young kid and I was in martial arts and fighting and that was always big for us and uh, when I went to play for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, you know, we're in there lifting weights, you know, first day, everybody's in there fucking trying to show off. And I remember there was this big country dude, barely benching like 225. And I'm like, look at this fucking big fucking country bumpkin. Can barely bench 225. And then we went out to go play. All of a sudden, I lined up next to the guy. I'm playing left tackle. He's playing left guard. I sit back. And the dude, like, punches a guy and, like, almost knocks him off his feet. <laughs> and then we went to go double team a little bit later. And he hit me and almost knocked me down. I'm thinking to myself, fuck, this dude's fucking tossing people he's big and strong he barely benched 225 so i slid up next to him at lunch and was like what's up like like what's going on the guy's like well i never really lifted weights i grew up on this hay farm and uh you know playing football seemed like bailing hay you, and he went through his whole training you can't fight with a farm boy i'm sorry and, and uh so at that point when he started talking about what he did for his training i went back in my off season and was like i need to start putting together some what I call field strong because yeah, he was yeah. like cock strong, field yeah. strong, country strong, all that, you know, and he, he just called that's it cool. field work. Yeah. And uh, like, that's why, Understood. yeah, I mean, and like that level of training. And so when people are like, oh, what, what kind of training do you do for kids? I'm like, <laughs> fucking, you make them pick up a wheelbarrow, make them pick up and do a lot of these kind of physical training. That's things. why I, I'm a big believer nowadays in, in uh, strongman co uh, competitions. I think they're great for Mrs. Jones, the 60 year old grandmother. And they're great for little kids, flipping tires, the farmers walk. Yep. All of those, all of those are great exercises. If I if I were a younger man, I would have been doing that stuff myself. What I did instead, interestingly, was all of the same things that they do in a CrossFit gym. That was my boyhood. I could have, if I, if slightly younger than I am now, I would have been the world champion CrossFitter. Because I could do all uh, that how stuff. How slightly younger? Like five years? Six years? No, no, 20. Okay, 20 <laughs> years. <laughs> so, so you think... I'm old, man. Uh, well, well, so, so you think you could win the CrossFit Games oh, in your 50s? Oh, no doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. You I can do a flag any day. I can do iron cross and pull out. Stuff like that. In your 50s? In my 40s. Your 40s? Yeah. Shit, we should have we should have fucking go back in time and get you into this CrossFit thing. Yeah. So, uh, but are, see, that's the stuff you, I did. Are you a fan of the CrossFit stuff? Huh? Or well, I mean, are you a fan of it? I'm a fan of everything that helps you build yourself without hurting yourself. The way they're doing CrossFit nowadays is very dangerous. They're doing highly technical snatch movements and kip ups and a high bar for time for speed, and you know that's a, that's a sure way of getting self hurt. You know. Yeah, doing a kip up is great. Doing a, a cross is great, and all all of the all of the movements that they're doing are great. But you don't predispose yourself to injury. Yeah, my my daughters and, do uh, gymnastics, and when we go, and I I go with them a couple of days a week, and just you know sit and watch. And the one thing which is interesting with the gymnastics is you know obviously the the volume of time which they train is probably about an hour, two hours, and everything is max effort followed by big recovery yeah. because uh, the movements are so technical that if you do if you don't do everything at max effort you're probably gonna hurt yourself exactly and the execution right. of a movement yeah so. now mrs. Jones can't do a kip up on a high bar you know at 60 years old she has no business trying it but they try to get all of their people to do these stupid wads what they call wads workouts of the day and uh, they're not created by anybody who's expert at, at the you know developing training regimen and protocol do you think it's so, it's more valuable for these people um, to just like to develop a strength base that which, which they can build upon yeah absolutely and then you know a uh, little bit at a time work their way into some of the really neat movements that uh, that uh, that they do in a CrossFit gym you know I think everybody should be able to do parallel bar work even at 60 years old I, I have a, a, a video at home of an 80 year old woman doing an exercise regimen routine on on the on the parallel bar she's doing kips she's doing handstands she's doing l sits and uh release and catch 
and all kinds of other neat things that 80 years old. Any, if she can do it, anybody can do it. But you got to work into it slowly. What? Uh, uh, how impact? I mean, we, we taking a step back. Um, how impactful was your trip to Russia? So, like you said, you went there. You trained with Verkashansky and that. I mean, was there anything that you walked away from? I mean, obviously, compensatory acceleration. But was there anything that you walked away with where you thought to yourself, "Shit, we're totally right or totally wrong on this"? Oh, they were Stone Age in their approach to training. The Russians were, and they were making do with really Stone Age equipment and stuff like that, but but they did everything right. What they did have, every single gym in Russia had a force platform in it. Every gym. Not a single gym that I've ever been to in this country has a force platform. What's a force platform? It's where you can measure the amount of force, force that you're exerting in a squat or vertical jump or something like that. Sure. Yeah, like uh, force plates. Yeah. So they do. And, you know, so I mean, little things like that really mean a lot because if you don't have instantaneous feedback, how are you going to correct it? You can't remember what your vertical jump felt like two days later. All right, you got to feel it now. Go by feel. So some uh, inherent periodization. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. And then the, you know, the whole thing of periodization was began in Russia, as was plyometrics. Plyometric training is, without question, the the single most important contribution of the Russians to modern day training methods and they had it down cold they knew what they were doing yeah i mean if you go read any verkashansky's books yeah. and all he's the one that started plyometric yeah. he didn't call it plyometrics fred wilt an american coach coined that phrase uh but verkashansky called it uh uh what did he call it um yeah, I'm, I'm drawing a blank too, and I know exactly why. Like, I, depth I, jumps or something like well, that. Well, he, yeah, I mean, uh, well, shock training. Yeah, shock training. Yeah, shock training. The ability to like, you know, but his whole deal was the um, accentuation phase. You yeah. Know? You know, can can you transition from an eccentric to a concentric load? How fast you can do it? Check mark. Yeah. I mean, the ability to uh, reduce uh, foot contact time. Right. Exactly. Right. See, yeah. that, uh, guys don't know that kind of stuff here anymore. You know, just nobody knows that stuff. That's what I teach, and that's why I'm around doing these seminars.